happy Wednesday, everybody. Hopefully you guys are having a good week out there. Believe it or not, I think I did this video three times complete, and something was wrong with the audio. And probably did like 20 or 30 tests to finally get it down packed uh, to the best I can. I'll have to play with it some more. So bear with it. If it's a little bit too loud, just turn your volume down. Um, I had to play around with some settings onto this stuff. But, hey, you guys all remember about three weeks ago we did a video on BSG grading. It was the best service grading. Well, they changed their name over to Diamond Service Grading. And they changed their labels around. And a couple people that are uh, subscribed to the channel said that it was actually a local card shop in their area which had really, really good reputation, and they wanted to start doing their own grading. So we're going to touch base on their website. They have a website up. And before I even go into it, do not confuse them with the diamond service that's doing the grade the graders, like they're grading the cards in the slab type deal. It's just not the same people, because I know they both have diamond into it and everything. So just so we don't have any confusion here, these are actually grading your cards and putting their uh labels and all that stuff into it so let me pull it up here there we go the sg gradings you guys can see they've to the right here where that pokemon dude's at the charizard that's what their old labels looked like had the red border now they got more of the blue tint to it kind of like a cgs in a way with the tint onto the paperwork along with now the blue border going around you got the diamond here in the center that's why I said don't confuse this with the people sticking the sticker on your cases now with that certificate. Totally two different things, everybody. But um, looking at it, you know, looks pretty nice overall. Uh, the cases look really good. Uh, labeling, you know, I like it to an extent. But as everybody knows, I'm just a, more of a big PSA and Beckett guy. And what I want to do is bring in a lot of these newer grading companies to show everybody because... A lot of people are worried about getting your cards back graded quickly and flipping them. So this is an alternative to that because we know HGA is, I think, still doing five cards of submission only with the Lethal Lottery that I've never gotten into. Um, PSA's backed up. Beckett's backed up. Everybody's raising prices to include SGC. So we're going to take a look at this overall. And if you guys want to use it, you can. They have their contact information. You can contact them, and I believe the owner of this actually commented the other video, so hopefully they'll do that again. If you guys have direct questions, you can use it there, email, call, whatever you want on to it. Um, and at the same time frame, if the owner would like to reach out to me, and we do a Zoom, and I'll tape it and put it on here. You're more than welcome to do that. Uh, you can give all your background information into the card world and you know what all you put into the grading and stuff like that there, because... Uh, when I went into the About section, just real quick, because I'm going to lose my track here. I know it real quick from doing multiple recordings of this. This talks about them. It talks about their slabs. But I don't see anything on here like where a lot of other companies were still in PSA and Becca graders. So there's nothing like that written here. Like, you know, we have graders that have graded for other companies and stuff like that offhand. So... We could uh, discuss, you know, on Zoom, you know, where where your grading expertise and all that stuff comes from within the hobby. Because everybody is going to be subjective in grading across the board. It's just everybody knows that. What I see might be what another person sees across the board. That's why we kind of grade these and let a third party do it. And everybody just goes off it whether they like it or not. <laughs> Most of us don't agree with stuff, but you guys get it. All right, let me go back to them. This is their grading scale right here on their webpage, and it is dsggrading.com. Link will be in the description. So you guys can see how they grade to get their values or the numerical grading scale. Uh, back to the home page. You can check out what is sold already on their eBay listings because they were originally doing this um, just like for themselves type deal then people started wanting them from their local area so they opened it up to everybody but it'll give you an idea of how their cards have been graded over the past years by themselves and some sales you guys compare it to with the other grading companies as well here's their prices 30 days 25 dollars 14 day 35 dollars uh if you're going to do a crossover from their bsg to a dsg slab it's 20 dollars 
And then if you want to authenticate it, there you go. I'm not too sure if they're authenticating autographs, everybody, just so you're tracking. And if he is listed, I'm sure he's going to mark before they're doing autographs. I think they're just authenticating the card is real. Almost like where you get a Jordan rookie year stuff. That stuff was so reproduced in the reprints. He's going to look at it and say, yes, this card is authentic. I believe that's what that means and not autographs. Then if you guys look, they have their submission guide on here, which I do like this. It shows you how to actually send your cards in, no questions asked. I like it that you stand to put them between cardboard, which you should anyhow. Use the rubber bands. Um, P says to use peanuts or other packing material. I hate peanuts, guys. Man, you don't know how many people have sent peanuts over the year. Open the box up and they're everywhere. And like I got cats and dogs playing with stuff because you know when you're pulling the boxes out, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that static just completely gets them. Do, 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 do. Okay, here's where they're located out of California down here. And this is where you can start submitting it. I don't have an account, so I'm not going to be able to go through. But you start off here, select your options, and then pretty much just put in the standard stuff, just like you guys do with HGA, uh, GMA, and the rest of them off the board. I will say the appearance to me looks better than GMA slab. I like it. Uh, but with all these different grading companies out there, you guys are going to start seeing stuff popping on multiple platforms. And what I want to try doing is whether everybody likes them or not, everybody's going to have their own opinions of every grading company. At least you know that they have a website, and it's, you know, a real company that's out there offhand. Versus people just buying slabs and making their homemade printer stuff up and slabbing them themselves and giving grades out there. And it brings awareness, too, to our community that, you know, that these were actually graded by a third party type deal and not by the person selling them. If that makes sense to everybody offhand. It's been, it's been a long day. My eyes are a little buggy. So be trying to read the stuff on the screens after staring at uh, my work computer for eight hours into lots and lots of Excel spreadsheets. My eyes are a little bit buggy tonight. So if I miss something on or I misspeak, it's on the screen. I shouldn't be misspeaking at all because I'm reading it right off of there. Um, the one thing I will say, though, I do like about it is, where is it at here? That they are pretty transparent saying they changed themselves. They're showing what the cards are selling at to give people ideas at. At the same time frame, they even go into the new label features and everything. Let me click on that right here. This is their grading software. The patent is pending on how they're doing everything. So that, that's pretty cool when you look at it and everything. Um, as it says here, it says it grades all card using their own proprietary program, which has been developed over the course of 20 years' experience. The founders have in the card grading industry. The software allows our graders to quickly and accurately and consistently grade cards by assessing flaws and damage on each of the eight card zones. So they're doing it by zones. Um, then entering that data into the program, the information is calculated using an algorithm. Our biggest word out there, algorithm. <laughs> and the only reason I say because people talk about YouTube algorithms and everything else out there, which ensures that your card will get the correct grade regardless of which of our graders is making the assessment or how many times the same card is graded they are doing also an online grading report as well too which the patent will be pending which will be kind of cool because uh it'll have a qr code on the back and way it is you scan the code your smartphone and then the dsg grade report will appear the grade report includes images of both the front and back of the card, along with a detailed report that shows you exactly where the flaws and damage are located and their degree. I think this is key in the industry right now by being able to get this. I do know people that in PSA that do get the little sheets and stuff along with Beckett, but they're spending some big money on those cards and they want to see it afterwards, so they are releasing those out to certain people but it's due to the value of the cards but i think if we got to see this with every card that would be awesome because then you would start learning where the flaws are and you could start training yourself into you know 
I guess you could say being responsible in pre-grading your stuff before you send it to the company, especially if you miss something overall. This is what I like. I really do. And I know HGA has been talking about doing this. And I think eventually the bigger companies will end up doing this as well, too, because they're going to want to start catching on to this stuff. You know, with, whether it's computer software, people grading your cards, whatever it may be overall, you know, a mixture of both of them. Eventually, we're going to have a lot of different things that are going on out there with the companies that people are going to choose what's best for their cards. Some are going to choose off of monetary, and some are going to choose off of what they think is a true better grade, too. So don't get me wrong. There's different ways to always look at this stuff. You know, you got to play the double-edged sword. And in this case, we got, like, probably a 12-edged sword with all the grading companies now out there. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I know there were, like, at least two or three people that know the owner of this um, grading service. And they said they've been, you know, in a card shop for, like, 20 years. So, if you guys want to post anything, you know, what you guys see, you know, I guess you can say kind of like a review or something like that. I don't want to say Amazon review because it kind of sounds generic. But if you guys get what I mean about it or anything you know about them, feel free to do that. If you're the owner, like I said, feel free. You're welcome to put whatever you want in there. If you would like to do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with me, I can get that set up to where you can do all the talking on to it. I'll probably just ask some very generic questions at the end. <clears throat> And then, um, sorry guys, my voice is a little bit crackling today because teleconference Monday, teleconference Monday is fun, let me tell you. Or Tuesday, today's Tuesday. Wow, I'm so messed up my days. Teleconference Tuesday. Kevin, I don't even know what day of the week it is anymore. That's so sad. I have to actually look at my phone when I'm doing these videos so I know what day I'm posting them on. <laughs> then I write on a sticky. Boy, COVID's been great for all of us, hasn't it? <laughs> but, um... Back to what I was saying, though, if the owner would like to reach out to me, extremecardbreaks at gmail.com, we can set up a time on a weekend, take about an hour, and that way you can, you know, be seen on camera if you want or not, and you can, you know, get out as much information as you want about the company. And that goes with anybody out there that has a company wants to do a Zoom. I'm more than welcome, uh, more than happy, I should say, to do that and put it onto the channel so that people can see your product. They can, um, you know, make comments on it. And if the person that it, that I'm doing a Zoom with would like me to bring in 10, 15 people just to listen and ask questions, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, there's a lot of people just don't Zoom, though. I, that's one thing I found out about it. So, yeah, if, if that's something you're interested in, please reach out to me as well, too. I like to try to get as much transparent information. There's what I was looking for, transparent information out to everybody that's you know going to be spending money and investing into their uh card collection whether it's for you know pc flipping investing for the future whatever it may be all right everybody i will see you all live friday night i have a few heritage boxes that probably won't, are not going to go sold until then i'm looking at 120 on the heritage just in case anybody's asking the tops opening days what i guys quote you at two for 75 we're sticking at and trust me, those things are now, I think I just told somebody they're like 50, 60 bucks a box. So you guys got a little bit of a break, and I'm glad I can help out anybody I can with uh, trying to cut down on a little bit of the pricing war that's going on out there so you guys can take less of a risk in opening that stuff up. But other than that, I will see you all live Friday night for about an hour or so, and we can do some hobby talk, whatever it may be, on to there. Talk about LaMelo Ball, the impact of his injury. Is it going to affect his cards Not if he doesn't win Rookie of the Year? All that kind of stuff that a lot of people have been asking about. All right, everybody, take care of a good week, and I will see you all Friday night.